Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So this is going to be a bit of a comparison video between the Hot Tools One Step Blowout Styling Brush and a blowout using a traditional round brush and a hairdryer. So a couple of months ago I attended a press event up in Whistler with London Drugs and one of the products that we received was this Hot Tools Styler and I was really really excited to try it out. It basically is like a two-in-one, so it blow dries and styles your hair at the same time. Time. I'll read you the description from the website. So it is a one step blowout volumizer brush. It has painted ion technology to combat frizz and provide fast drying while reducing breakage and providing volume and shine. So it's supposed to give you volume, it's supposed to give you a blowout look and uh, I was really excited because I was like wow if this can create kind of a salon style blowout then that's amazing because we all know that it's really difficult to create or recreate that salon style blowout with a round brush. Like I can, I can kind of do it but it's always better when I go to the salon. So after I got this, I was looking on YouTube, looking at tutorials, and one of my main questions was, how does this compare to a standard blow dry brush? And I couldn't really find an answer, so I thought that I would try this out and create this video and do like a side-by-side -side comparison, and hopefully you guys will find it useful if you're thinking about buying one of these, and it will just give you a bit of insight into the final result and the kind of look that this creates. So the blow dry brush I'm going to use is the uh, dry bar brush. This is the full pint, I think it's the bigger brush. And um, this is the Hot Tool Styler. So it's the signature series. It's got like bristles around here. It's got um, an oval shaped head. So it's kind of rounded to create like a flick. And um, the heat comes out of here. And then at the bottom, it's got a few different heat settings. So you kind of like flick flick this part over to the side and it's got uh, off setting, cool setting, low setting and high setting. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a side by side comparison, I'm going to split my hair up and basically just do it one side and then the other side and keep kind of working up my hair to show you the final look and kind of what what kind of looks these two create. Now I already have kind of formed an opinion on this, I've used this quite a few times, I'm not going to tell you what my thoughts are just yet, I'm going to kind of let the video speak for itself, show you what it does to my hair and then I guess you guys can make up your mind and I can go through the pros and cons of this brush compared to this brush. So I've already put a little bit of product in my hair, I use the Kerastase Resistance Blow Dry Cream and uh, I use this when my hair was wet and then I'm also going to put in a little bit of the Kerastase Elixir Ultime Oil which is absolutely amazing, I swear by this. I use it all the time, it smells amazing, it's a little bit more pricey, it's about $57 I think, but um, it just smooths your hair out so amazingly, you hardly need any and uh, it just smells so nice and I love Kerastase's products. So my hair is about probably about 60% dry, I've kind of just let it air dry a little bit as I've been uh, getting ready and setting up my filming area. Um, so what else am I going to use? Oh yeah, I'm going to use a heat spray, I just use the Tresemme Thermal um, Heat Tamer Spray and I put this in my hair. Okay, so I need a clip. Do I have a clip? No, let's go get one of those. So I'm just going to separate my hair out into a few different sections. I look a little bit like a potato right now, don't I? And so I'm just going to brush my hair out a little bit. And so on the Hot Tool Styler, as I mentioned, there are a few different settings and so you basically turn it on, on the bottom, and then what I'm going to do is kind of separate my hair into like inch wide sections and kind of curl my hair under, obviously I'm going to turn it on in a sec and basically just keep running through my hair and it will blow dry and smooth it out at the same time. So I'm just continuing to smooth out my hair and I'm just kind of creating a bit of tension, especially on the ends, just so I can create a little bit of a flick, like a classic blow dry flick at the ends. And what I'm also going to do is just switch the heat to the cold setting, just so that I can like seal the style. And I find that switching it to cold helps to just like make your hair a little bit smoother. I'll always do this whenever I blow dry my hair and it just helps to reduce frizz and just kind of like seals the style as well. In the beginning it was like Try and kind of curl 
curl it inwards so it's created a little bit of a flick not much to be honest but a little bit but it has made my hair really really smooth which I do like hold it here just for a few seconds while my hair cools down. One thing I have noticed and it's quite annoying is that the cold setting on the styler isn't cold at all even if I switch it off and leave it for a bit and then I switch it to cold it's kind of it's still warm basically whereas on my hair dryer the cold setting is actually cold so I don't really know what the point is of having the cold setting because it's not actually cold, it's a little bit rubbish. Um, but my hair does feel really, really smooth, which I do like. And the hair glides through the plates really, really nicely. So this is this bottom section done. As you can see, it's super, super smooth. I mean, it's it's very, very straight. It's not really like blowout style. It's a little bit of a flick, but it's pretty straight. But um, let's do this bottom section and let's get through the rest of the hair and then we'll see how we get. The water turned cold. Yeah, we have different dreams so we can never grow. Yeah, as we dove in deep, the water turned cold. Cause we have different dreams so we can never So that is half of my hair dry. As you can see, there is a visible difference between the two. This side is a lot sleeker and straighter. This side has a little bit more, just a bit more movement, a little bit of a flick on the ends. But let's do the rest of my hair and then we can do like a full side by side comparison. Caristas serum and just run it through the ends of my hair just for a little bit more shine. Wow, it's super dark in here, isn't it? It's um yeah, it's only like three o'clock and it's really dark already. Okay, so there's definite difference between this side and this side. I mean both sides look really nice as a refresher. This side was done with my um, Hot Tools styling brush and this side was done with my dry bar round brush. Now both sides are nice but I think this side is definitely more of like a salon style blowout. It has more volume, it has a bit more movement, the ends are nice and flicky, it's really nice and smooth. This side's nice too but it's more of, um, more of a look that I would get from straightening my hair. So I'd say I think this is more of a blow dry brush and like a blow dry smoothing brush rather than a blow out brush if that makes sense because to me a blow out brush is something that would create something like this like a salon style blow out. So um, yeah I think it's I think it's a little bit deceptive I mean it maybe it's just my hair type I have seen people with shorter hair create you know a lot more volume with this 
but I've been, you know, really trying to create volume at the roots, I really tried to, to kind of curl the hair under, flick the hair at the ends, and it's really nice, the result is really nice, but it's just, it's not really a blowout. In terms of ease of use, this is really easy to use, they have designed it really well, it kind of fits, fits nicely in your hand. There are a few things that I dislike about it, one of the things I think I mentioned earlier is the cool setting. So on the bottom of the styler there are a few different settings and you basically just um, you slide this bit at the bottom across and you slide it to the cool setting, the low setting or the high setting. And basically the cool setting is really not cool at all, it's just kind of a little bit cooler than the high setting but it, it's not cool and I think it kind of doesn't really make sense to have that setting if it's not actually giving out cold air I don't really understand so that is one of my gripes with it the other thing that I don't like about this is just the way that this slider is positioned at the bottom it's really finickety I find that whenever I try to switch to cool I would switch to the wrong setting and it's just I don't know, I just, I don't find it easy to use, you have to get your other hand involved, whereas with my, um, with my Dyson Supersonic, I can do everything with my one hand. So, yeah, the buttons kind of annoy me, the cool setting kind of annoys me. I mean, it's a great styler, and it creates a really nice, smooth look, and it is very, very easy to use, but I just don't think it, it's like a blowout styler, if that makes sense. It creates a nice, sleek, smooth and straight style, but it's not really the device to use if you want more of like a salon style blowout. Another thing that kind of annoyed me a little bit was I think because the heat is coming out of everywhere, especially at the front of my head, and if you can tell, but I just have quite a lot of flyaways, especially around the front, like if you compare this front section, this side here is a lot smoother and a lot sleeker compared to this side, it doesn't really have much volume, and I think because this is very large, it's quite hard to really get like into the roots and into kind of this rooty section, it's just, it's just very large, so it's a lot more difficult to have kind of like precision with it, however, the benefit of it being large is that it does dry your hair really quickly, you can grab really big sections of hair, and as I mentioned, it makes your hair really, really super soft and smooth, so yeah, I think it's a good device if you want something that will blow dry and straighten your hair at the same time. If you're looking for something that will create a salon style blowout, then I still think that you're better off going old school and just using a hairdryer and a classic round brush. So hopefully that's given you kind of a good comparison between the two. I do really like my hair when it's like this. I mean, they're both completely different looks, I think. This side is a lot more smooth, a lot more sleek. This side is just a little bit more fancy, it just has a little bit more volume. But yeah, hopefully that's given you a good insight into how this works and uh, the kind of look that it creates. I mean, I don't have anything against it, I just think, personally, I probably wouldn't buy it because I kind of feel like I could create this same sort of look with a hairdryer and a hair straightener and probably in less time. However, if you're somebody who wants a two-in-one and you just want to blow dry and straighten at the same time, then this would be perfect. I mean, it, it does do a really good job, but it's just more of like a smoothing brush than anything else, I think. But yeah, let me know if you have any questions in the comment box down below. I will be creating more hair videos. I do have a waving one tutorial coming. It's something that's requested all the time, and I finally got around to filming it a couple of weeks ago, and um, I was basically midway through filming, and my waving wand broke. It broke on the day that I decided to film the video. The timing was so bad and it was really annoying because I'd set everything up, I was halfway through and then it just stopped working. So I uh, went out and bought a new waving one last week and I will be making that video again and that will be coming soon. But uh, yeah, I hope you have enjoyed this. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel and you wanna see more of my videos, then uh, please hit the subscribe button. It'll be somewhere around here. And uh, I will see you in my next one. Thanks for watching, bye.